Hello everybody, I am Ilonda, aka Creative Mommy of Two, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back in case you've been here before. Today, in case you've been on my Whip and Chat videos before, you know this canvas, so you know what I'm doing. And also, if you didn't and you have looked at the title of this video, you also know what I'm doing. I am going to do a whip and chat, so grab out whatever it is that you are working on, even if it's just your housework or whatever it is that you're doing. I hope that you let me keep you company, I hope I can keep you entertained. And yeah, let's have a ramble, shall we? So how are you all doing? How was your week? It has been a week already. So yeah, it's so stupid, it feels like I didn't do a thing, and when I wrote it all down, because I was like, yeah, I don't know what to talk about, and I was starting to write it all down, I was like, oh dang, I did actually do quite a lot, didn't expect that, so yeah. Oh, yeah, most important, the school has started again. So our daughter's back to school. Whoop, whoop. So yeah, I'm really happy with that because even though I love her, she's a lot of work. So yeah, it's nice to have just one kid around the house. <laughs> but doing this next year, I will have just one kid around. Well, I don't have one kid around. I have none kids around. So yes, finally. I love my kids, but... I also love my peace and quiet. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, with that being said, it's now Tuesday, so they had their, well, she had her second day of school today. We had feared a little bit of tantrums or adjusting periods, especially yesterday. But up until now, everything went perfectly well. So let's hope she can keep it that way. <laughs> Yesterday we also uh, sent the new teacher the report of like her evaluation that she had before the school year ended, so that she will also have that and the information that's all with that and stuff and we also have the yeah what's the word to call her let's call her a psychologist i do believe she's a psychologist of a psychiatrist it's one or two especially for kids so yeah she's coming to the school to talk about everything we will be there so that we can directly line everything up, like form a plan for how to handle everything so that we don't need to later on look for everything again. So we know all, we're all at the same page. So that's always nice. So yeah, that's next week. So happy about that. So we can all start the year fresh and good thing that the teacher or daughter has this year. She had her last year already and I guess the teacher she had last year was also like giving a little bit of a rundown of everything and stuff. So yeah, up till now everything goes well. In the beginning of the Monday, so yesterday for me. She was a little bit hesitant and thinking like, what do I need to do here? What's the planning and stuff like that? Because yeah, it was really, really busy at school. Because yeah, the first day of school, a lot more parents come along. And also the like only, yeah, we had, call it here groups, group one till eight for the, what is it? Like lower schools. So from four till 12, that's, the basis school, basic school, as we would, try, as you would translate it. So yeah, she's now in group three, so group two. 
And yeah, normally the kids from the group three and up are not on the playground when, yeah, when they start school. So they are already in class. So yeah, they don't need to hang around and wait for the teacher and stuff like that. So yeah, a lot of the parents are already gone by then. So yeah. But yeah, obviously yesterday they were all still there. So it's kind of busy and she was looking a little bit lost. Like what the hell is all happening here? But yeah, according to the teacher, yes, she had a moment where she was a little bit like out of her element because she wanted to do something and somebody else was sitting where she wanted to be or something like that. And she was not happy with it, but apparently the teacher handled it well. She took her uh, a little bit aside, explained a little bit or talked about it with her and apparently everything went well after that. So. Yay! <laughs> so that makes me happy. So at least the teacher is able to handle her. <laughs> but yeah. So we needed to have everything in order for school on Monday. So yeah, I decided to prep everything because I was pretty sure I had everything. Turns out when we looked at everything, we did have like half of the stuff because we're like yeah well you we like indoor shoes the sloffen was like slippers or something the warm fuzzy kind <laughs> they she had them and she didn't grow her feet too much but then we're also like wait she had them for the entire year so let's try them on she does fit in them still but they are kind of small so we're like you know what the ones she had were pink cats and they were dirty <laughs> well basically dirty is an understatement so yeah her rain jacket we thought would still fit but yeah we are idiots we didn't look at the size before so yeah apparently she was it was also too small <sighs> so yeah the backpack we had gotten her we thought we had gotten a small bag, but yeah, apparently not small enough. It was still like a little case of like, hey, backpack, where are you going with that little kid? <laughs> so yeah, over the weekend, we needed to still go do some back to school shopping. Luckily, we succeeded in everything. So that was a good thing. Got her backpack on Saturday in the morning. Uh, along with her raincoat and what's the other thing we needed? We needed one more thing, but I'm not really sure what. Doesn't matter really, but so we got that on Saturday and on Sunday we got her new slippers. She actually also does need some new gym shoes and gym clothes but we're like well at least for now she has some we saw them at the store for shoes for her for some gym shoes but they weren't in our size available so we're like you know what we're just going to wait most likely in like a couple of weeks we will go there again and then we can see if her size is back most of the times they are there like second half price or something so we already get one in a size up if we not even decide to get the same size twice because one of the pairs were pink and yeah our son will need their his shoes when he goes to school I do not care much about certain colors, but I think pink gym shoes are a bit much. If I can't, fa can't find anything else, yeah, well, then he just has to wear pink gym shoes. But yeah. Trying to sort of avoid it. So, so yeah, we did our last minute back to school shopping. 
But I wasn't the only one. I talked with a other mom that I know that's like the mom of like our daughter's best friend. She also said that she needed a new backpack and she was also still looking for it. And she in the end ended up buying it on Sunday. So we're not the only ones. <laughs> so yeah, in case you have school kids that go to school. How far ahead were you this time? Like, were you as late as we were? Like literally getting the last minute stuff like the day before or are you well prepped and do you have everything like a month ahead because yeah at the moment i'm not prepared normally i try to do stuff like early but yeah not this year not this year even though we already started christmas shopping <laughs> so yeah where we went to drop off well went to go for the school shopping on Sunday, they also have like a free childcare where you can drop off your kids for a maximum of two hours. They do need to be potty trained, and yeah, they can go there till a certain age if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, since our son is now officially potty trained. Even though I still expect that he will have some accidents. But yeah, he at least can go without a damper for a couple of hours. So we're like, because it was the first time we went out the house with him. Well, it was basically like the first time he had his diaper off during the day. We started with having him wear underwear under his diapers. So we had to make it a little bit less transitional. But yeah, that went well, so we're like, you know what, we might be able to drop them off there. So yeah, before we drop them off, we just take them to the bathroom and take off his diaper there. Let them both go to the bathroom so they don't need to go there. So that's already a bonus. And then we can go do some shopping for ourselves. Because yeah, obviously we still need to do some stuff for ourselves at times. And we also started doing the Christmas shopping because we saw a game already. We thought it would be fun for our daughter because it's a game that is divided in three versions. One is with, I believe, was more like symbols. Then the other one was with the symbol and then the word written behind it in a certain direction. So they still need to look for the word, but yeah, they can at least see like where the word starts. And then you have like the classic, it's called... Wordzoeker, which is like word searcher. So yeah, that was the thing we saw. And we also saw some extra washimals. They had a, a set somewhere where that was normally like, I believe about 16, 17 euro. And it was in sale for just seven. So we're like, you know what? They both like it. It's drawing and it's water so yeah let's not do difficult with it just grab it and since we didn't have the kids around we can already get it so that's a way of like even though they have enough toys and stuff so they at least can get more stuff so they can also have some bigger stuff So we don't need all like small stuff because otherwise it's too expensive. And yeah, we don't want because there are at an age where it's also like the quantity is also a little bit important. Let, because let's face it, kids are also with like birthdays. It's not important who comes, it's important what comes. <laughs> That's the thing my dad always says, like it's for a kid. They don't care who comes, they care what comes. So they are most likely more interested in the gifts they get than anything else. So yeah, we we don't want to have at this age at least that they're like they can have one thing and that's all. If they would say next year like, hey, I want for Christmas this thing, and that will be like the entire amount of that we would want to get them. We can say like, hey, but that's all. You will get most likely because, yeah. 
There are limits to what Santa can do. And yeah, then I would be able to say like, okay, then she gets just one thing and it's bigger. But yeah, we're also like, we I got some uh, squishies on AliExpress and some like small stuff like, yeah, the ex basically the same kind of stuff like a stocking filler. Only then it's a shoe filler for Sinterklaas for the counting down period, basically. <laughs> so that we have already something for that. So yeah, I'm already planning for that, but let's be honest, if you know like for what kind of things you can look and you can find it for like five or 10 euros less. Yeah. I'm not going to blame the parent that does the same as me because that saves you a lot of money. Even if you would just say like three gifts for about say 10 euros, yeah, then you can maybe make it four because yeah, if you can find something for half off, well, that saves you a lot. So yeah, we've been starting like the first Christmas slash Santa Claus shopping. And I also got myself a Halloween costume because yeah, they were now available and there was just one in my size and or at least I believe there was just one. In other words, the other one wasn't too interesting. But yeah, it was a vampire outfit and I was like, yeah, that's that's fun. I like that. So yeah, I will be a vampire for Halloween and will be dressing up as a vampire for when the kids come trigger treating. Because we think it's fun to also, while handing out the candy, to be dressed up. And yeah, my husband and I both are not the biggest fans of dressing up. But at the same time, we like it. So, yeah. We're oddballs. <laughs> Yeah, for our daughter, we're already looking around so she can maybe have some new outfit for Halloween as well. But yeah, many times the things for her are already sold out. So yeah. You know, she told me what she wanted from the version. But my husband was like a week ago or something when we saw some stuff in her size he was like no we will get it closer to then and i was now looking around when i got mine i was like well we maybe would be better if we just got it because yeah now already there was just at that store at least just one thing in our size i was like yeah let's hope that they restock because that store has a tendency to get it delivered once and not get it re-delivered so yeah let's see <laughs> but oh well but yeah aside for shopping for school supplies and december stuff we also are looking around for a new wardrobe for our kids because, yeah, we still have the dresser from the baby's room. And, yeah, that thing is small. Especially for two kids. Especially since they are both in one size difference. And, yeah, obviously, one's a girl, one's a boy. So, yeah, I can't let them share with everything. Because I don't think it's a good idea to dress up my son as a girl with dresses. When we play dress up, I'm totally fine with him wearing dresses. But yeah, I'm not going to force him to wear dresses to school when he goes or something like that. So no, he just gets his own clothes. Many of the times dinosaurs or cars because that's our, that are two things he loves. If I find something with like Paw Patrol that our daughter likes as well, obviously she can wear that too, so they can do 
together with it. But yeah, there are limits to it. <laughs> and at this point in time, he does not care much about what he wears, so I can basically dress him up in whatever I think is cute. <laughs> So yeah, we've been on one day when we dropped off our daughter at school. We've been to the Ikea. We wanted to drop off our son there at the daycare they had there. But yeah, apparently nowadays they are closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. So yeah, that, that did not go according to plan. So yeah, he needs to go through the Ikea with us. So yeah, well, he wasn't too excited about it. But oh well, tough luck. They're like, hey, it is for you. It's a new wardrobe for you, so better suck it up and come along. <laughs> and he behaved decently well. For as far as you can expect in the IKEA for a three year old. So at least he behaved somewhat. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, we've been to multiple stores. We've been somewhere. I don't know when it exactly was. Oh yeah, it was on Saturday, but it was without our daughter. I was thinking like we we've been to like a a place around us where they have like most of the times it's like furniture and house supplies and stuff. It's a one boulevard, they call it, like a living boulevard. Basically, you can get there most of the things for your house. So they have there like kitchen stores, bathroom stores, like everything for like uh, furniture and stuff like that. So I've been looking around. But yeah, we're trying to get it on somewhat of a cheaper side. But still, the ones we saw and the ones we're debating on were still like four or five hundred euros. So we're like, yeah, I don't know. Because it's still a lot of money. Yes, it would be pretty decent to what we want. Even though the side panels would be white instead of the light gray that we would actually want. But yeah. What we saw husband was actually getting a newsletter today from the store and they announced that they, at least what we expected, that they will have a new collection soon. So we're like, you know what, we're just going to wait on that. Maybe it will change. The one we have seen that we're like eyeballing at the moment is from Ikea. So they will most likely have that still in like a few years even. So because, yeah, we also have the same dresser only in a, a whole wardrobe in a different color. So, yeah. But yeah, we're so looking around for that because, yeah. And we also have like all the stuff for our son's room for when our daughter is moving up the stairs to the attic, finally. Because we now are moving along finally for a little bit more. We've been starting like on. Monday, so yesterday, to move some stuff around again. Normally, we actually would have been doing every day, well, every time I needed to grab some stuff from upstairs, put it downstairs. Afterwards, when I'm done, put it back upstairs and stuff. I was thinking on, I believe, Sunday, like, hey, what if I just put it all together and we have these, like, big container trash bags? So what if I would just push everything together and we will, yeah, put it under a trash bag. So yeah, I said to my husband, like, hey, that is, would that be an idea? Do you think that would work? And I was like, yeah, we can try that. At least it's not for very long anymore. So yeah, obviously still it gets dusty. So even every time we go upstairs to get everything down it's still full of everything because yeah there's still a breeze there so yeah it's still kind of dusty 
She was like, yeah, it will have some dust and isolation stuff but for isolation insulation. But it will have some stuff over it, but yeah, it now does have either way. But then we at least don't need to walk up and down the stairs like 10 times and be like totally wiped out before we even start. So at least we have also a bit more time to work on it. So like, you know what, I'm just going to try that. And yeah, you know, Monday I put everything under some big garbage bags and yeah that actually worked so I also started on grabbing some stuff from yeah for some extra insulation that was still there so yeah I started to rip that out we have one side of the attic almost done the other side is mostly done but I still need to do a little bit well of round shoveling work <laughs> Because that was basically done in two parts, so now I need to do the second layer. But if the second layer is done, then we only need to do the remaining woodwork. And then we can start rebuilding! So we're finally getting somewhere. So yeah, I'm basically like I'm trying to keep myself going now on it. To hopefully have it finished this week. We still need to... Well, basically get everything out but we found a way that it's at least a lot compacter so we're going to try to do that as much as possible because the other way it would be a hell of an amount of money to get rid of it now it would be a lot less but yeah it would still be like in a regular container so we would still need to drive to the container that we have we can put like too many in in at once so it was most likely like two or three bags once maybe twice a week yeah that still would take a couple of weeks to have it done but yeah if we have everything compacted and stuff. We can at least get it downstairs, hopefully, to the car and put it there somewhere so it's at least out of the way. So yeah, that's making me happy that I at least now have a little bit of a move. My husband went upstairs to the attic today to take out some of the woodwork. That of the part that I got out yesterday so at least that's gone so I'm debating on most likely tomorrow then Aurora has a half day so it's a bit like how everything will go but yeah yesterday I did also everything after she came home from school so it's a case of just starting and seeing that I have at least like one or two hours so most likely I will do that again. But yeah, so that's at least moving along, finally. That's also a project for like four years almost. So yeah, that's... Yeah, I've talked a bit about it before and yeah, that's a whole... It was a struggle. It sort of still is because, yeah, now we need to take everything down and, yeah, I'm not really happy with it, obviously. So, so yeah, hopefully, at least in a couple of weeks, we can finally, we finally have everything clean and can start going up. So, yay! So, yeah. Let's think, well, not let's think, let's see, because I've been prepared today. I have been, yeah, writing a list. So, yeah, I talked about the shopping, the attic, the first days of school, our wardrobe hunts, that our son is out of his diapers, so whoop, whoop. 
no more diaper frost. That saves a lot of money because those damn things are not cheap. I'm really glad we're rid of those. So, yeah, finally, no more diapers. Yeah, I'm really glad with that because regular underwear I can just wash out and use again. I still expect him will have some accidents, but so far so good. So yeah, now he just needs to go to a big, the, the regular toilet and everything will be happy. But yeah, he's small enough. I'm like, well, if he just goes to the potty, I'm happy with that. As long as he goes. <laughs> as long as he goes where he needs to, I'm fine with that. It's at least a step in a good direction. So, yeah, I also did today some wardrobe reorganizing because we're basically like, well, we're not going to get the one we were eyeballing from Ikea and we don't know when the other ones will be coming, like the new collection and stuff. So we're like, I still had the size that's too small in there. So I was like, yeah. You know what? I'm just going to get everything out today. New school year. New start of me. <laughs> so, yeah, I basically threw out everything on the floor and on our daughter's bed and started to stuff everything back in. Got all the clothes out that were too small. What is clean and has no holes. I will be reselling, so I maybe have just a few more, like, euros out of it. Won't be much, but every euro counts. <sighs> yeah, then once we do get a new cabinet, dresser, wardrobe, whatever you want to call it, then I just need to get it out of one and into the other. So, yeah. So, what else? First, before I forget it, and somewhere in the upcoming weeks, I don't know what week exactly it will be, but I will most likely be Kidding up my treasure quest for my comparison for my cross stitch conversion versus diamond art clock. I will be kidding up my diamond art clock version of that canvas. So the question is what kinds of things do I need to ramble on about in the time that I'm kidding up? Also, needing to look up at how long I'm not rambling on already. Half an hour. That's fine by me. <laughs> if you've been here before, you know my whipping chats. Most of the times range around like 45 to 45 minutes to an hour, somewhere in that range. So yeah, that's fine. But yeah, so the question is like, what kind of things you want me to ramble on about? I do have a list prepared of Dutch saints that I think are funny or other people think are funny in some cases because I also looked some up like from YouTube from creators that are from different countries that are going that came to the Netherlands to study to live to work whatever applies and things they thought were funny about the language so yeah, I had some from those that was like oh yeah now I think about it they are kind of funny so why not? And yeah, another option would be some Dutch folklore again. Just like I, a couple of months by now ago, I did the Flying Dutchman. And last year in October, I did the Spooktober Story Times, where I focused on all times like, things like creepy, witchy, and stuff like that. So I could do one of those. 
especially when I know it long enough in advance, I can dive into it and do proper research and don't need to rush anything. So that's always a good thing, in my opinion. So if you want to see one of those, let me know. If there's anything else that you're like, I'd rather see this or that, let me know. Most votes count. And if I have three comments from you from under this video and all three of you will say something else, yeah, then I will just need to pick something and maybe save the rest for another kidding up. Who knows? You never know with me. <laughs> So, yeah, that's that. Let's think. Got that, got that, got that, that. Chum, 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 Yeah, I have most of it. Kind of organized. Yeah, so, in case you remembered, I said that we on Saturday went somewhere without our daughter. So for the people that feared that we kept her at home, no, we didn't. <laughs> she had a birthday party. So for the first time, well, it's the second time she got invited. The first time she was able to go because the first time we were in the phase of testing for whatever the hell she has, which is an LD in case you don't know, a non-verbal learning disorder. At least non verbal, I believe. Yeah, well, it doesn't, doesn't matter that much, but so yeah, she was in the testing, and that, just that day there was a one of the tests. So yeah, that was too bad because it was actually from like her best friend. So I was kind of sad about that when she couldn't go. Uh, but yeah, one of her other little friends at school had her birthday. And yeah, so that, it was kind of nice because the one of the mom that, of that little girl, uh, she actually does a lot of help at the school. So yeah, she knows how my daughter is and how much yeah, she can struggle with simple things. So that was a really nice thing. So I would, I just dropped her off and was like, yeah, she's fine here. No worries. If there's anything really major going on, they have my number. They know where to find me. So we have one of the, of our daughter friends. Well, actually the other friend I was talking about, like her best friend. She was, well, she lives like two blocks away from us, or two streets, whatever you want to call it. So I got a message to the mom of that girl, like, hey, is so-and-so also going to the birthday party? If so, I can pick her up to, to go to the party. So we can either drive together or... Or yeah, I can just take her because, yeah, obviously I already need to go and we have two car seats. So yeah, I can take her if you want. And she was like, well, that's really nice of you to ask. And I would rather drop her off myself. So I would love to ride along with you. So I was like, yeah, fine by me. So how late do I need to pick you up? on where exactly? Because can I park in front of your car, uh, in front of your house of, or is parking there? A pain in the behind, which I thought it was because it's one of the bigger streets in the area. And so she's like, yeah, well, you can best park there and there. That's the easiest way. And yeah, I'll see you around that time. So yeah, I picked little girl and her mom up and yeah, it was really fun. Don't get that chance too often, but yeah. We thought that she was kind of the same size as our daughter, so we'd be like, oh, well, maybe like the headrest a little bit up, but 
yeah, she's a lot bigger than we expected. And yeah, it's, she barely fit in the chair. But yeah, it's one of those grow along chairs. So like once our daughter has enough fat on her bones, <laughs> we can in one or the other way. I don't know how, but there is a way that we can get this the chair partly separated and we can just use it as like a seat with just the seat belt from the car. So yeah. But yeah, she fitted in the chair, so it was fine. <laughs> yeah, we dropped her off. They had a Western team party. And actually the mom that was riding with me uh, had already had two parties there, I believe. And she said like, it's really fun. And she asked to the mom who had the party there, like a bit beforehand, before they, we would pick them up. Like, hey, is everything on schedule or are you behind? Because apparently the time before that, when they went there, they were like, well, like an hour behind or something so she was like yeah i needed to wait there for quite a long time so we're like yeah maybe smart and indeed they were behind so yeah that was a good thing that she asked because yeah the kids were still eating but yeah we came home we yeah it was like a pickup time was like right around our normal eating time so we decided you know what it's nice to have a barbecue so we did that my daughter just kept eating along, so we're like, yeah, well, fine, if she has hunger, if she's hungry, well, fine, by me. But yeah. Yeah, she had fun. She didn't completely wanted to go along with me when she saw me, but luckily, soon enough, she was like, okay, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, they had like small horses there so she got the first horse back riding you can brush the horses they could just walk on it with it and they had apparently like a story time or something and i don't know what all it was but it was kind of fun and yeah they did eat there so my daughter picked french fries because they can choose for fries or pancakes and yeah, she had a lot of fun, so I was happy with that. Because yeah, it was her actual like first party to go to. So that's always nice. So yeah, I'm curious to see when will the next party be and whose will it be? <laughs> But yeah, happy that she was happy. Little, little demon. <laughs> Love her, but she can be a little handful. Let's be honest, what kid can be, but <laughs> oh well. Oh uh, yeah. Well, before I forget it, I've been to the doctor again for my head, which is getting quite annoying because, yeah, I already know that I need to go back in a month's time. She said that if it would work like really well, I could just call and be like, hey, it's perfectly fine, would help with this, but yeah, otherwise they at least need to know like how much did it help or stuff like that. So. Yeah, trying a new medication, like, again. Because, yeah, in case you don't know, I have at least most likely psoriasis in on my head. Like, only on the scalp. It's either that or an eczema. I guess it's also, like, the proper translation. Or otherwise, it's something close. <laughs> But yeah, the treatment of both is basically like the same. So it's sort of like, well, 
I'm just thinking it's this one, but it could be both. They are kind of similar and they are treatable in a similar way. They are both conical, so yeah, if it really is that, you can't get rid of it. So yeah, now I'm trying to, gonna try to use a shampoo to see if that helps. Oh, my shoulders are stuck, <laughs> or at least you feel like they're stuck. But yeah, so I now have a shampoo, picked it up already at the apothecary. Not really looking forward to the, what's the word? Do I hear? Hold that thought, I need to investigate. Okay, I'm back. I think it's our clock that the battery is almost empty because it's also like almost five minutes behind. So I think it's just struggling to get the things up. So yeah. So yeah. What was I exactly talking about? Yeah, something with the doctor, but... Yeah, not exactly sure what, so... Yeah, let's see if the new medication works. I hope it will, because yeah, it would be nice if my head doesn't constantly feel stretchy. And yeah, that's no fun, because every time I go with my fingers through my hair, I feel something and I'm like, ah, stretchy, stretchy. And then I can stop, and yeah, before my I know it, my head is bleeding, so... Yeah, no fun. So, what else? Yeah, I have a question for you. How is the meal where you're from? Is it also as bad as it is here, at least at the moment? Because we had, we have the app from here, the delivery, one of the delivery companies, Postenel, which is like the main Dutch mail carrier we have the app from that and you normally see like when certain email it for well a certain mail should get to you on friday it said that there would be mail coming and yeah you can see an image of said mail item so we know that it is from my husband's work, at least something from the Navy, because yeah, it has the big anger symbol on it that Navy meal has. Well, basically anything from the Navy, because also like the uniforms and stuff like that. So yeah, but at least <laughs> I digress like for the millionth time. Not going to open up a new section now. I'm not feeling to finish another part. So I'm just going to sit and ramble for a little bit more. But yeah, so that should be here on Friday. On Saturday, we got like a one of the like magazines that they get. I think that's just the Dutch defense like general magazine. It's called Sterker, Stronger. I do believe that Checkpoint, the one which I expect will be coming then this week is the veterans version. I do believe it's that or the other way around. It's one of the two or the one is Navy and the other is veterans or doesn't matter that much. Cat thinks again, it's food time. No, it isn't. <laughs> you still need to wait like an hour or so. Oh, come on. Go sit straight here. Even though I feel that I still need to put in an extra drill. <laughs> Yeah, so the mail that should be here on Friday still isn't here on Tuesday. The mail that should be here on Saturday showed up today. So, yeah. Is it just me? Is that confusing? So, yeah. 
do you have this happen with you with mail it's like it says it should be there and it isn't or whatever and sometimes we have like the notification like hey there's mail coming and then you look and that's the mail that you got the day before or again many times it says like hey today is mail coming and then you have nothing coming that day and it shows up the day after it's like what the hell so if you have like some sort of notification or either like even like a tracking number because they also do parcels and stuff do you have that often that something should show up and it isn't even if it's days later because yeah that's strange But yeah, for movie night, well, date night, we watched a movie last week. We watched Murder Mysteries, if you like comedy movies and strange fun. <laughs> because it was still, yeah, it's movie mis it's murder mystery. It's kind of crime solving, but in such a hilarious way that it's just and right stupid <laughs> yeah but it is fun it's with uh adam sandler i believe his name and oh it's what was her name again oh come on oh by the way it's, it was part two first one we we watched last year so it was murder mystery two uh what's the other name jennifer aniston would it be correct i don't know doesn't matter right the two main characters are two kind of known actors so actor and actress actually but you know what i mean so it was a really fun afterwards we watched a small clip of our son falling out of bed because we were just done with watching the movie and we heard a banging sound and we're like what the hell and we have cameras and was we were fast enough that we could see we could watch back so we watched it was like the edge of his bed uh, falling off and his hand flying in the air just like basically like your tune like ah! it felt like he fell in slow motion it was really really fun but he picked himself up and put his blanket back in bed and stepped after the blanket in bed and was like nope and he put his head down and slept long so it wasn't too bad i believe the same morning he also fell out of bed but then it was he was crying and screaming for mommy, so he either scared himself awake or something. So, yeah, that was less fun. But in the evening, the way he fell, it was just hilarious. So, yeah, even in our sleep, they can be funny. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Like you saw him go and his hands and feet after him like ah. <laughs> but yeah i think i'm gonna go now I'm gonna see if our alcoholic gnomes will behave today and don't add another alcohol bottle on our kitchen counter because lately for some strange reason Almost every day or every other day, there keeps an empty, mostly wine bottle appearing on our kitchen counter. I have no clue why. We don't drink wine in this household. <laughs> no, we don't drink wine. No, 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 no. No, it were the gnomes. No, it weren't us, it were the gnomes. They magically let the wine bottles be empty and appear them there. No, it wasn't us. It was not us. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, in case you expected it, it was us. <laughs> yeah, my husband and I are lately going in kind of an alcoholic mood. So, yeah, don't worry. We're not getting drunk every day. It's just one or two glasses over the entire evening. So it's still behaved, but yeah, it's a bit much at times. Well, much isn't a bad word. If it isn't the right word, but yeah, the bottles still keep appearing. 
But oh well, we'll walk every once in a while, walk to the glass container and throw everything in and problem solved. <laughs> but yeah, I've had my glass of wine for today, so I'm good. But yeah, also the bottle is empty and I don't want to get another bottle. So, <laughs> But yeah, with that being said, uh, would you be so kind as to answer the two questions I had in this video? First off, the most important sort of for me, for kidding up, what would you be listening to for, from me? The sayings, folklore or anything else? If so, let me know what. And also, is mail as strange as, as it is here, where you're from? Uh, yeah, if there's anything else you want to know from me, want to let me know, well, you know the drill. Put it down in the comment section below. And yeah, like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, as always, have a wonderful rest of your day, night, week, whatever applies. And I hope to see you in next time. Bye.